So guys, today I'm going to be taking you through the standing dumbbell press, mostly for the shoulders, but there's a lot of muscles involved in this movement. So we're going to go through it now. So first of all, we want to have our feet nice and straight, our glutes tight, our core tight. We want to be standing sturdy and having a good platform, a good solid base to work from. Then when we think about the shoulder and how the shoulder is structured, we need to be working at this 45 degrees um, position. When we're in this position, it's not so good. And when we're forward, it's a completely different movement. So slightly off center, 45 degrees. And that's the position we want to be pressing from. Okay, so we've got the position. Next thing we want to be doing is making sure our shoulders are back and down. And we've got our lats activated. We've got our shoulder, boy, shoulder blades squeezed together. We've got our nice position. We've not had our wrist bent back. We've not got our wrist bent forward. We're nice and straight. My core's tight. My glutes are tight. My feet are even. And then I'm going to be pressing up and down. Okay, nice and slow, nice, nice and purposeful. My lats are still activated, my core's still tight. And this is what it wants to look like, okay? So there's a lot of things that go wrong with this movement and I've made many mistakes in the past where I've actually caused a lot of injuries, a lot of shoulder impingements. So it's important to get it really, get it right from the beginning. So some of the things I would do is I would not activate my lats properly, I wouldn't squeeze my shoulder blades together, and I wouldn't keep my shoulders in a safe position. So that's one thing that can cause issues, it can cause shoulder impingement. Another thing I used to do was press from behind the head, like this, and it would cause a lot of shoulder issues because the shoulder's designed to mainly work in this 45 degrees position. Another thing that I see people do, and I used to do myself, is I'd arch my back too much, it's gonna recruit some of the chest muscles and we're trying to work on the shoulders first of all, and it's putting the back in not a safe position. So you'd have your bum sticking out like this. Really, we want to have our core tight and be in a nice neutral position when we're pressing. Another thing I do, and I see a lot of people do, is not activating their lats properly, so having their shoulders back and down while they're doing the movement. These muscles are really important to keep the shoulders safe. So I would, be, I would have been focusing on just pressing the weight up without thinking about activating my lats and keeping everything in a nice position. So really we need these lats activated, core activated, when we're pressing the whole time. So if you need any help with this, feel free to shoot me a message. I've got a lot of free training plans. This one's included in the plan and I'll be able to help you out that way.